Today we'll be going through rules of indices too. So now let's look at rule number four. So we have a b to the power of n. So now what does this mean? It means that a b multiply itself n times. So it means that a will multiply by itself n times and hence we get a power n. So likewise for b we'll get b power n. So we'll look at two examples. How does this rule work? So we have two to the power of 2 because 2 multiply by itself 2 times whereas x squared multiply by itself 2 times so recall from rule number 3 so a m to the power of n will give you a to the power of m times n so for x we'll get x to the power of 2 times 2 and lastly for y we'll get y to the power of 3 times 2 simplifying this expression we get 4 x to the power of 4 y to the power of, of 6. Now, let's look at b. So applying the same concept, we'll have half to the power of 3, x to the power of 3, and y to the power of 2 times 3. Simplifying this, we'll get 1 over 8 x cubed y power 6. Now, let's look at rule number 5. So this rule, if you have any base to the power of 0, we'll always get 1. But take note that it only apply to the base that has power 0. So now, let's look at the first example. So we have 2ab to the power 0. We can see that this power is only for b. So therefore, only b will become 1. The rest will still be the same. So we'll get 2a. Now, let's look at the next example. We can see that 2ab power 3, the whole thing is being powered as 0. So this whole term will actually become 1. Now, let's look at rule number 6. This rule will help us to change any negative power to positive power. So now, let's look at how this rule works. So we have 2x to the power of negative 2. We can see that this negative 2 is for this base x. So only this term will go down to the denominator. So what do I mean? So this will give you 2 times 1 over x squared and if you put it into a single fraction, we will actually get 2 over x squared. Now, let's look at the next example. We have 2x the whole thing powered to be negative 2. So now this whole term 2x will go down to the denominator with positive index of 2 now. Simplifying, we'll get 2 square x square and simplifying one more time, we'll get actually 1 over 4x squared. So that's it.